What's up everybody? It's the Common Sense Investor coming at you with another video. In this video, I'm going to explain how they're using rolling blackouts to control the AMC squeeze. Now, a lot of people, I love it when I get those messages, go, how in the world did you come up with the concept of this and the squeeze? As I just sit back and I meditate. And tonight I was meditating after I watched Donahue George's video on the buy button being taken away in revolt, okay, with ape. And he was talking about how they could not buy any ape, and when the price rose again, they would turn the buy button back on again for him. And I said, okay. After I watched his video, I kicked back and I meditated and I smoked me a cigarette. And while I was doing that, it dawned on me. People, they're controlling the squeeze by using blackouts, rolling blackouts. To help you understand that more, let's look at the definition. Rolling blackouts are an emergency procedure that power grid operators use to balance the power supply in a specific region. Unlike power outages caused by physical damage to power lines or power plants, rolling blackouts are usually temporary and it's intended to minimize the impact on local electricity consumers. Let's look over here at the Louisiana map. And this is our congressional district. It's not the electric grid, okay? Now, I, I didn't want to go Googling electric grids in the United States with what's going on right now with terrorist attacks on our power grids. That's a whole nother story. Because there's been three attacks simultaneous attacks happening at the same time when that one power station was hit so were the other two this was not random it's not copycat you can't copycat something that you're doing at the same time that's another story but in this particular case I didn't feel comfortable googling that because they probably got those hot keywords so I went to the congressional district okay map and you see here we got six districts one two three four five six all right, now just imagine that this is power grids, all right? And if something happened over here in grid four, then it won't affect any of the other parts of the state. It'll only impact number four, all right? And if something happens in grid six, they can shut down grid six, and it won't affect all the rest of the state, all right? Very simple. Now, what I want you to do is instead of looking at this as a congressional map, look at it as brokerages. Okay, you got Merrill Lynch, you got Morgan Stanley, you've got Fidelity, you got Weeble, you got Moo Moo, you got whoever else. All right, just think about them. All these are brokers. Okay, in fact, let's talk. Let's use number four here, grid number four, and call that Robin Hood. And I think you'll really understand what's going on. When they turned the buy button off in Robin Hood, that was like turning off this grid. These investors could not purchase GME and AMC. But the rest of the grids could. See? Now, they turn this grid back on. And everything starts working normally again. Now, there still might be a strain on it, but the point was to get it back online as quick as we could. All right. Now, fast forward to today. In grid five, i.e. revolt, we had to turn the buy button off today. Why? We had a power overload. Does that mean these other brokers or these other districts these other power grids, they could continue to operate if we turn off Revolt. Answer is yes. Kill Revolt, and you're good in the other ones. And they turn Revolt off for just a short while, but then they turn it back on. And then they have the problem over here, let's say in grid six, which would be Apex Brokerage or Apex Clearing, and they need to t turn the buy button off in whatever brokerages they have and then these people are or refuse the access to buy and the rest can and when the strain is released from this district 
they will turn the power back on, i.e. they turn the power, uh, buy button back on. So, can you see that? Can you understand that if you look at each broker as an electric grid, and they kill the power over here, the buy button, in grid one, but the other grids can continue to folk, uh, continue to buy. And then they just alternate them. Grid one turns back on, turn off grid three. Grid three turn back on, go to five. Turn five off, go to seven. Turn Weeble off, turn, turn on uh, E-Trade. That's how they're controlling this squeeze. If you can understand that, if you can understand that's how they're controlling the buying pressure right now, that they're able to, to move around and turn the buy buttons off in specific places, they're not doing it all at once, you're not trying to kill the power in the entire United States, we're just trying to isolate the problem where it's being overloaded and fix it and get it back on as quick as we can. That's what they're doing with the buy button and the broker's firms. So that should give you a little bit more understanding on why they're taking the buy button. But now get ready, people, because there's coming a time they're fixing to take the sell button, too. But that's for another video. And with that, I'll let you go. Love you. Be blessed. See you in the next video. I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens. Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason. If they want to go eat, then you know I'm going to feed them. If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon. I got eyes in the back of my head I'm seeing. Take me for granted and you know I'm leaving. I'm going to take what's mine with the webs I'm weaving. I could take this crap from